Well, we got our hole in our piece of metal. Not the roundest thing in the world. Grind it down the threads on the muffler a little bit. Fits in there pretty good. Hopefully things will line up. I've taped the pattern to the back where I can center punch my two holes. Like of a center punch, we're going to use a nail. Oh, that looks fairly close to the center. I'll have to do. Figures. Today I'm looking at a welder I bought at auction two or three years ago, but I've never used it. The reason I bought it is set up to run on the 110. I've got a 220 squawk box in there somewhere. This welder says plug into a 20 amp fuse. I might not have a big enough fuse in this box to, to run this welder. I haven't did anything to it. I'm just going to plug it in and turn it on. If it don't work, We'll take it with it another time. But I've got a little muffler project I've been working on for my air compressor. I want to try to get it welded. And now would be as good a time as any. We're going to do a little practice welding on a piece of scrap metal here. See if we blow a fuse or just what happens. It's a little bit hot. I got it on the lowest amps I can get. Well, what the heck? I don't see how the wind will work. We'll give it a whirl. Welder kept tripping out. Kept tripping the circuit breaker. I had to get up and reset the circuit breaker a good five times. So my welding job kind of gobbed on there. The time I get started welding, I had to go reset the breaker again. But I got it stuck on there. Well, it's come to worse, and at least we weld it again. I already 
checked it on my flange on the air compressor and the bolt holes do line up. Not perfectly flat, but I believe it'll do time I get a gasket in there. Uh, that's going to conclude my video for today. We're coming right along with this muffler project.